Hi, I'm James. Let's talk about superficial gloss finishing. Now, this is gonna be directed toward the anterior teeth. It's the final step I do before I place the restoration in the mouth. And my goal is to make the reflection the same as the adjacent teeth. I'm looking for a similar luster, and I'm wanting that same light and deflection chemistry. But let's review how we got here. Number one, we diagnose the case. We look at the biofunctional activity of the mouth. We look at the patient's expectations. So we look at the clinical situation and we restored the teeth. We used copy and mirror for our digital design, which I love, particularly within our CEREC system. We milled this out in Emacs. There's other materials that you can use as well. We went through the shaping of the Emacs to get that fingerprint, right? We want to put the texture in to the ceramic. And then we finished the ceramic. In this case, we used meal with a combination of their coloring and structure system. Now we're ready to polish. Now, one thing nice about meal, particularly where we placed the structure over the colors, is that there's room to polish without polishing away any colors. And that's really nice. In most cases with my ceramics, I like to slightly over texture. I like to glaze or polish and then polish in the luster you want. Not all teeth have the same luster in the mouth and I know you've seen that. So the way to analyze that is to dry the teeth lightly, don't desiccate and take photographs to get the reflection and the type of luster you're looking for. Every mouth has a different, what we call aesthetic chemistry set. We have the patient's emotions, we have their lips, their soft tissue, we have opalescence, we have fluorescence. There's a lot of things we're looking at. Shape, value, all those things need to work. But the most important thing is once you have your value on with your shape, right? You gotta get the value of your ceramic. You have gotta make it work. Value is very important. Once you have that shape, the final piece that really solidifies what we're trying to do is superficial gloss finish. And that's what this video is all about. I'll show you my current journey on it, polishers I use, those are the steps we're gonna go through. So let's go ahead and get into the video so we can have a lot of fun. Quite often, line angles are smoother. Any areas that are convex will see more wear. With the blue knife edge wheel, we'll polish those zones. You will find with the Mio finishing technique that we have demonstrated that there's plenty of thickness, so we're not concerned about wearing away color. The margins are polished as well. Any micro surface tags right at that margin, we want to make them very smooth. A light touch with the blue knife edge will will effectively smooth those areas. Now we'll go to the lingual polishing any areas that will be near the soft tissue. We want those really smooth. And it's important to polish the lingua of the restoration. We've added some glaze. We want that glaze very smooth. And the incisal edge. Lightly bevel the incisal edge. This creates a better protrusive function on that incisal edge and the line angles. The green coarse luster twist is ideal for polishing. This will take that surface of the glaze, which can be microscopically rough, and neutralize that surface for good function. We can also neutralize the labial texture with the green coarse luster twist. A light pressure will neutralize some of the micro texture if it's too much. The course does leave more of a matte luster. The medium blue luster twist will bring that luster to a higher sheen. I just love these twist polishers. They're efficient and we can move rapidly with them. I still like my diamond paste. This is dye shine fine. We're going to apply that to the lingual with a stiff Robinson wheel. We want to optimize the smoothness on the lingual 
So the posing dentition will read this surface as a natural enamel surface, and that's what we get with our current materials. It's not going to prematurely wear away the posing dentition. Now it's time for a luster check. All in all, I like what I see. I do feel there's a little too much texture in the mid body of the restoration yet. So the question is, can we take that texture down and maybe a little higher luster yet? The green diamond twist is still one of my favorite polishers for removing texture. We're removing the texture in the mid body, not touching the colored area. So I'm not worried about removing the color. And you can see that texture is starting to smooth a bit. I've mentioned before, it's better to over texture and then come back and neutralize. The next step is the blue medium luster twist. We're bringing the luster up just a little bit more and we're going to assess to see if we like where it's going. And I, I do like this. I like where it's going. And back to the diamond paste with a stiff Robinson wheel. We're using a firm plunging action at around 15 K and you'll see this luster come alive with a surface texture that appeals more for this case. That's the study that we make is surface texture. I'm really into that at this stage in my career and I have found that all cases are slightly different. There's a look that I feel is more appealing and voila, <laughs> I do feel like it's much better. It's more subtle, a little softer look. Wow, wasn't that fun? Superficial gloss finishing. That's the final piece just to take it to the next level. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. I want to hear what you have to say. We'll keep posting a lot more videos. A lot of times from your questions and comments, I'll get some ideas for other videos that will complement the topics that we're already providing on this website. So thank you for watching. You folks stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.